six museums in China and one in Verona, Italy. Now add to that list Chinese artist Zhu Renmin's first in America, just opened in Silicon Valley. Visitors can learn how Zhu injured himself badly while working on a performance art painting. Doctors said he'd never walk again. He spent years rehabilitating and building his own island, where he created these 500 granite statues. In this project, the local government couldn't find anyone to landscape this narrow space by a cliff. Then he drew a Chinese painting for his dreaming or planned project, then showed this to government. Do you want this one? Government said, oh, wow, this is great. Every like, 7 million visitors. Now it's worth about a 20 billion RMB right now. Zion Chen founded Artico, the company which is helping introduce Zhu Renmin's work to a global audience. Shun says in China, Zhu has built 24 projects, totaling nearly 15 billion U.S. dollars. Art is so broad, art is so profound. It's not only just for appreciation or just for painting, for auction, but for to change the world, to repair the damaged ecology, to save this planet. Stanford University Asian art professor Richard Vinograd is impressed by Zhu's work that turned a neglected and polluted section of Hangzhou's Grand Canal into a food street. Long hand scroll painting that shows the scenery along the Grand Canal, kind of an architectural drawing uh, in a more casual style that really uh, lays out the design for a circular architectural arrangement of uh, restaurants and bridges. I think what's special about Ju Renmin's work is that he really uh, wants it to be more than just a conceptual uh, piece or a visual spectacle, but something that has a real impact on the environment. I think his vision is so appealing in this combination of artistry, architectural design, land art, and uh, ecological awareness and consciousness that it should have a place here in the U.S. In fact, the Artico team is already looking for areas to create their first U.S. and California project. This neighborhood is one they're looking at because of the damaged wetlands, which they could potentially restore. And it has good space to incorporate Ju Remin's artistic designs, which in this case would be an Asian-style food street with the latest technology on display. Artico, which stands for Art Using Technology to Save Ecology, ultimately wants to use technology to scale Zhu Renmin's vision. So I've tried to use uh, artificial intelligence, the latest technology, to simulate uh, Professor Zhu's idea, how he think when he look at a damaged place, then the rest by the Professor Zhu. Then we will also ask a local artist to make the local element, local culture, integrate those cultures into the final design. While that path may be filled with hurdles, Zhu's life work has always been about imagining and building what most thought was never possible. Mark New, CGTN, Sunnyvale, California.